Joined now with Emily Games from Tufts University. They just won the first Division Three Women's Across semifinal in Salem, Virginia. And Emily, talk a little bit about offensive output today. Good for you guys. And it, several of your players kind of bunched up together there a little bit with the points. But talk a little bit about pulling out a close game today. Yeah, I think in every game and what we tried to do today is we want to come out fast and hard and really capitalize on the moments that we have early on to set the pace and tone of the game. Um, and I think we did that. What we really love to do and love to push is the fast break. And our middies did a great job starting from our goalie and defense to middies to attack, really pushing that, um, whether it's from the draw or from the transition um, and going right to goal and going hard and choosing the right moments when we need to settle it, but also making sure that when we are settled, that it's still moving um, and getting the D to move and finding the right looks. We'll now open it up to questions. Ralph, if you've got any questions for Emily. Yeah, sure. Hi, Emily. Congratulations. Um, uh, to discuss uh, essentially when you're, when you're facing kind of a high pressure zone, uh, you, you know, St. John Fisher did really well to slow the game down. What did you guys have to figure out over the course of couple of first half timeouts plus water break much of the second half to figure out uh, what they were doing uh, what had to occur there for you guys to eventually just do enough yeah so I think um, we've practiced high pressure zones in previous practices and so we know especially on days like this when it's really hot is to keep it moving and tire out their D because those high pressure zones it is those people are flying out to try and attack the ball quickly um so if you can just keep moving it and controlling the tone and pace of the attack then it's really going to tire out their d and then it makes it easier for us to find the looks and the people who are open um on the eight and emily so when you made your decision uh, i guess my my info was yeah march of 2020 you you knew you were coming back was it a, was it like that day that wednesday when uh, the shutdown happened or uh, did you take a week and, and tell me just just how you processed all that and said, yeah, you know what, I am for sure coming back. How quickly that was, uh, tell us about that story again. Yeah, so when I found out, I was, I talked with my parents about it. And I think what we sort of discussed is like, we did work really hard. Um, coming off the 2019 season, we got very far. Um, and then going into the 2020 season, we worked very hard in the off season. And so we were very excited. We started off well um, in our first few games that we did have. And what I, I think when the NCAA gave me this extra opportunity um, in this year of eligibility is that, you know, you don't want to walk away with regrets. You don't want to say like, oh, we could have like done that. Um, and I think that's something I didn't want to like, I had this opportunity. It doesn't come. It comes maybe once in a lifetime. Uh, hopefully we don't have this pandemic again. Um, so it only happens then. But yeah, so I, I think it was maybe a few days decision, but um, I knew I, I wanted to come back. And I knew that this team was really special um, and still a great team to be back with. And I was super excited for what we could do. And uh, last one for me, Emily. Uh, uh, I believe uh, Coach was saying you're, you're essentially interested in TV, TV and film. Um, uh, you're certainly writing your own sort of story and script this weekend, especially you individually. Uh, I guess, what do you want to do? Uh, tell me more about that. Uh, uh, you're more of a creative type. Uh, tell me what your, your goals are uh, within that. Um, for post-college or yeah, being yeah, yeah, creative? I guess, yeah, you're a TV film major. Uh, is, is that right? Yeah, so majoring in international relations, but um, that's sort of pivoted to an interest in media and film. And so I this past um, semester, I was able to do a bunch of internships in there and which have been great. Um, also getting to do that while having this extra season. Um, and yeah, so looking to move into that direction um, post college and post um, graduation. Um, yeah, and trying to find opportunities in that because that's what I really love. Thanks, Emily. Absolutely. Well, Emily, we want to thank you for joining us today. Good luck in the national championship tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.